there grew up in West Adams. That's what I'm saying. He grew up in the neighborhood, same neighborhood as I. David Ayer is born and raised in L.A. He's an L.A. baby. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think nobody can make an L.A. movie better than David Ayer because he's from there. He's lived it. He breathes it. He, I mean, look, look training day. You know what I'm saying? That that one just like his his inside knowledge of, of the streets, you know, and the and the workings of it. So I mean, I just think people just just want to talk shit without without seeing things, you know. Last Thursday in the city of industry, right? It was sold out. It was packed. I mean, as packed as it could be, you know, because of the COVID, you know. They mm -hmm. they but that shit was sold out. We released a couple more tickets, they kept on getting sold out. Man, that, that shit got a standing ovation. When the shit was done, the whole shit started clapping. Everybody started honking their horns and, and lighting their, you know, their, their headlights on and off, on and off. You know, like, they love the shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, like, how are you going to deny that? That shit happened. You know, that means it was filling the shit. I'm, 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 not, I'm sure that there was some other people that had different opinions of it. Oh, it could have been like this. It could have been like that. But, you know, they're not a director. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Plus, I mean, uh, art is subjective. No matter what, they have their own opinion. They're like sometimes when you watch a movie, sometimes you can watch it again ten years down the road, or watch it, you know, multiple times, and each time you'll notice something. So, so it, it's just one of those things, man. Where um, overall, from everything that I've been seeing on Tax Collector, which drops this Friday, August seventh, 